Lorenzo de Medici is strictly a university for all study abroad students. Courses are taught in English, which is really nice. As a designer, I'm introduced to the historical aspect of design and I was completely surrounded by it and learned new techniques and met designers that aren't from the U.S. and aren't accustomed to the U.S. materials for interior design. There's a lot of more traditional materials that the U.S. might use opposed to this woman from India that I met. I had professors that worked for Gucci, for Prada, and all these other high designer names. I'm really into architecture and history, so I took a lot of tours and went just walked around towns and admired the different architectures by different monumental designers. I took 15 credits, but I only had classes Monday through Wednesday, and then had the four-day weekend to travel while going on the weekend or spring break or fall break, winter break. I only packed one hiking backpack for the full year. What I encourage is I packed clothes that were somewhat worn out and I knew that they were really flexible with all different kinds of outfits and by the end of the trip I could throw it away. If I was in a city I'd be like, well I don't know if I want to stay here longer or not or I was just really relaxed about it. I didn't plan it to a T or anything, which I think is the best way to go because I encountered a lot of surprises along the way. Good surprises. Very good surprises. And met so many new people that way and there's so many people with a story that are they're willing to share it if you just ask. I surrounded myself with people that maybe didn't even know how to speak English. He's driving. Hi. I liked how the Italians and Florence really interacted with one another and it made me feel much more at home, which is kind of a place that I've always been searching for. The friendships you get are much more rewarding that way, and then you have networking in all different countries. I have friends in South Korea, down to South America, from Africa, like, it's just amazing the kind of friends that you can make when you just push yourself out of that comfort zone. My favorite part would definitely be living with the host families. I was embraced and celebrated holidays with them birthdays and met their extended families and they all agreed with me. I mean the food, the food that they would make was absolutely amazing. When you sit down at the dinner table you look forward to the conversation. Even if you might not understand all of it, for the first month I just sat there and nodded my head for a while. <laughs> Study abroad just forces you to, into a completely new perspective and different culture and introduce you to ways that you never knew that your mind could even work. It forced me to ask a lot of self-reflective questions, which is going to lead me to, I think, more ultimate happiness in, in my life in the long run, which is pretty awesome.